Uh, so this we're gonna look at adding and subtracting polynomials. And being that algebra is probably the most new uh, amount of content in any unit that we're working with, um, we have a lot more definitions to it. Uh, so some more definitions uh, to include with this unit are the term polynomial. So what's a polynomial? A polynomial is an expression. An algebraic expression we talked about is something that um, doesn't have the equal sign in it. So a, a polynomial in general is an expression with one or more terms separated by addition or subtraction. So polynomial uh, is another way of looking at algebraic expressions. So x, three, x plus three, x squared minus seven, three x squared plus eight x minus one. Those are all types of polynomials. Uh, a monomial, so poly means many, unknown quantity. So it could be any of those. So polynomial is the blanket term, but specific ones, there's a monomial, which is a polynomial with one term. So three y, uh, two x plus, two uh, x y, nine x squared. Those would be examples of single term monomials. The term binomial is one of these polynomials with two terms, three minus x, four x squared plus uh, y, two terms are separated by the plus and minus. Remember terms are separated by addition and subtraction signs. A trinomial has three terms, three x squared plus four x minus seven, x plus y plus z. Those would be polynomials. They have three terms each. Do we use quadnomials? No, it doesn't, not, not usually. Um, as it gets confused with quadratic, which is another term for, uh, that we work with when we're working with polynomial expressions uh, in terms of trinomials. Um, so after we name one, two, and three, because we often work with one, two, and three dimensions. There are, mo there are more dimensions according to science, but we uh, don't really have a way to uh, visualize them, so we don't uh, name them um, in our mathematical courses. So. Monomial, uh, binomial, polynomial, or uh, trinomial, they're all types of polynomials with multiple terms. Mono one, bi two, tri three. Now, in looking at terms, there's this concept of like terms. And these are terms that are uh, similar to each other. Um, they need to have the same variable and exponent part. The number portion doesn't matter. It's the variable and the exponent on that variable or variables that matter. So we want to decide whether each of these pair uh, are like terms. Three and four, they don't have a variable. They're just numbers. So the variable part's the same. There isn't one. So these are like. 2x and x. Ignoring the number of them, there's two x's and there's a single x. Remember, we can visualize these as a line. So this is a line, a line, there's two x, and then x is another line. These are like, they're lines. So these are like terms. x squared and x, well, the exponents are different. And remember, we said x squared, you should picture a square. x, you should picture a line. A line and a square are not the same thing. So these are not like. 3x squared and negative 2x squared. Well, they both are x squared. When we see x squared, we should picture squares. So these are like terms. 4x and 4. The numbers are the same, but they don't have the same variable. The variable part is not the same. There's an S x here, so that's a line, and then that's just a number. So they're not like. x cubed and x in 6x cubed y. These are not like because of the y. x cubed and x cubed is the same, but the y isn't. The variables aren't the same. So those are not like terms. Now, knowing what like terms are, we can then simplify equations by adding and subtracting like terms. So to do that, we match up the like terms, um, which we often call collect. So we collect like terms, and then we can simplify them by adding or subtracting those terms together. 
So some examples, just starting with simply adding and subtracting. Um, in part A here, 4x plus 6x. These are like terms, they're both lines. It's like having four lines and then six lines. So that's a total of 10 lines. There's four of them plus six of them. So 10 lines. 5x squared minus 3x squared. That's five squares minus three squares. So we'd be left with two squares, or two x squared. 3y plus 2y minus 6y. Well, three plus, uh, the y's are the same, these are lines. So we have three lines plus two lines, that's five lines. And when we take away the six lines from five lines, we're short one line, or in this case, negative one y. And in the next case, we have four x's, so four lines, and we take away four lines. Well, we're left with nothing, we're left with zero. Now, in the next set here, these are a little more complicated as we have a mix of terms in here. We got x squareds, we got x's, we got no x's. So often what we will do in these types of questions is we will collect the like terms. So we'll rewrite the equation with the like terms. So I'm gonna start with the four x squared, and then there's a plus x squared here. There's a three x plus three x, and then I'll go through, there's a minus three x there. And so I'm circling them just so I know which ones I've used, because these can get longer than this. And then there's a minus two and a minus eight. So this just helps me by circling them to make sure I got them all. And now I got pairs of like terms. 4x squared plus x squared, those are five squares. So 5x squared. These are lines, so we don't add these together. We can't add the lines to the squares. If you add a line to a square, you get a ladle. Well, that's not a mathematical thing. So we don't add lines and squares. So we've added these two. Now we'll add these two, or in this case, we got positive 3x minus 3x. That's going to be plus 0. And then negative 2 minus 8, that's going to be negative 10. So we can just rewrite that as 5x squared minus 10. You don't have to put the 0 part in there. You can skip writing that um, because it's uh, not needed. We need to put it in the question like this because there's nothing there. Uh, otherwise, it'd just be equal blank, and then that wouldn't make sense. But here, uh, we don't need it. Uh, and the next one, uh, similar idea. We're going to collect like terms. Now, here we were in descending order of the powers. So x to the power of 2, x to the power of 1, and then no x. That's often the way you'll see answers written. Does the order matter? No. Um, so if we do this in the order they come in, we have negative 6x, and then plus 4x, plus 2, plus 9, and the minus 5x squared, and it's like term of plus 6x squared. So I do this, I'm going to simplify it, and it'll be in a different order than you'd see, like say in the answer set of the textbook, um, and I'll show you what we do to fix that. Uh, so negative 6 plus 4, that's going to give me negative 2x. 2 plus 9 is going to give me 11, and negative 5x squared plus 6x is going to leave me with 1x squared, or just x squared. Um, now again, we can't combine anything else because this is a line, this is just a number, and this is a square, and those don't combine. Now in general, what you'll probably see as an answer in a textbook is you'll see x squared, it's positive, so we don't have to put the sign in front of it, minus 2x, because it's negative, plus 11. That's probably the answer you'll see. This is correct, but so is this. Both of these are correct answers. This just looks a little easier, and it's sometimes easier to work with when we write them in descending order, because then we can see uh, that this is a trinomial with a power, uh, with the highest power being two. Um, now, at times there'll be brackets that get thrown in the mix, and so there's three general scenarios you're going to see with this. And it'll just come with practice, um, so don't get confused. Uh, it, it, don't worry if you're getting confused. It'll just, just take some practice to get to. But um, if there's nothing in front of the brackets, you just get rid of them. 
There's no need to have the brackets here because they're not doing anything. So we can just write 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. And just to note, that is positive 4x squared. If there's an addition sign in front of the brackets, well, it doesn't do anything. It's, it just means everything stays the same. And so we just drop the brackets. And again, this is positive 4x squared. This is uh, 3x and 2. Now, here's where the issue comes in. When there is a negative sign in front of the brackets, we need to change the signs to their opposites and drop the brackets. So what it means is every sign in here, the positive 4, the positive 3, the positive 2 in this case, has to change to its opposite. And then we'll drop the brackets. So it becomes negative 4x squared, negative 3x, negative 2. All three numbers have to change. You don't just drop the brackets and make it negative 4. It's all these are negatives. Because they're in brackets, they all become negative. So let's look at some examples of working with uh, situations where we can simplify with brackets. 6x squared plus 3 uh, in brackets plus 4x minus 2. So these brackets, nothing in front, so we just write 6x plus 3. These brackets, there's a plus sign in front, so we just rewrite positive 4x minus 2. The 4x minus 2, but we need something here, so you can't just write without the plus. If I do that, 6x plus 3, 4x minus 2. Well, that looks like 34, which is not right. So we need to make sure there's a plus sign in there, just separating those terms because it's a positive 4. And now we can collect our like terms, 6x plus 4x plus 3 minus 2, and then simplify. That's going to be 10x minus 1, or plus 1. Okay? Uh, the next one, we have... Nothing in front of that bracket. So 3x squared plus 4. Now the negative sign. So all the signs have in the bracket have to change to their opposite, and we can get rid of the brackets. So negative 7, the opposite is plus 7x squared. Positive 5 is going to become minus 5. That's the opposite. Everything changed to its opposite. Negative 7 became positive 7. Positive 5 became negative 5. Collect their like terms. And simplify. That's going to give me 10x squared minus 1. In the next case here, we got a really big one. Three terms, or three brackets. But it's done the same. There's nothing in front of these brackets. So 4x squared minus 3x minus 2. We can just drop them. This is negative, so we got to switch all the signs. So that becomes positive 5x squared. That becomes positive 6x that becomes negative 1. And then there's a positive sign here, so that's just plus 4x minus 3. The signs stay the same. The big thing, one of the big things that uh, people will make a mistake on is that they'll forget to put some of the signs in between or they'll forget the exponents. Make sure you're careful in copying. That's one of the, it's not, you know, people get frustrated that they don't know how to do it when it's, they know how to do it, they just forget to copy things properly. So take your time, make sure you're copying everything properly. We'll rearrange here. 4x squared plus 5x squared, and that's it for squareds. Uh, we got a 3x next, uh, a 6x, and a 4x, and then a minus 2 and a minus 3. Oh, and a, see why I scratch everything off? Because I missed the minus 1. There's also a minus 1 in there. Now I can collect the like terms. So these are x squared. So there's 4 squares plus 5 squares. That's 9 squares. 3 lines plus 6 lines plus 4 lines of length x. So that's going to be uh, 13 plus 13 x's. And then a negative 2 minus 3 minus 1 is going to give me negative 6. And there I have the uh, I simplified that big mess down to a trinomial. So like terms need to have the same exponents when you're adding or when you're uh, adding or subtracting them you just add or subtract the like terms the ones that have the same variables and exponents and then when you have brackets uh, you just drop the brackets unless there's a negative sign in front of it and in that case then you make everything uh, its opposite signage